Hello, hello, and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. It's been a while since I've played this, since I got really rather into Factorio, so I'm sort of trying to remember what was going on. Now, ah oh yes, here we go, I remember. We had these sort of these um, massive bruises coming out with the zappy insect gun things. Um, and, well, I managed to kill them, but then I got scared and quit and sort of went off to play something else for a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is kind of terrifying. Are there any more in here? I think I, I vaguely remember I was having a grumble about um, not liking bullet sponge enemies because they tend to be a bit... Um, it's not very tactical, it's just sort of they, they run towards you and you have to hit them incredibly hard a huge number of times. And it's not very, it's not very satisfying. And, then, and I think I was talking about one of the worst cases I remember of that being the original Far Cry, where you had the uh, the trigens, which are basically sort of mutant monkey things. And at first, they weren't too bad. They just came running at you very, very quickly. And you had to... Um, uh, and, and yeah, they were fairly tough, but not unreasonable. But then later on in the game, they ended up with some sort of evolved... Ver no, it wasn't even... Oh, what's who shouting? Wrong okay. I didn't realise that was a grenade because it came so far. I thought it was just random sparks or something. Or I might have retreated from it a little bit. Um, Yeah, so the uh, the trigens, they'd um, later on in the, in the game, they then ended up with armoured versions of them who had ridiculous amounts of health, effectively. You could hit them in the face with the rocket launcher and they'd keep coming. And at that point, and I, th I have a feeling that also the game didn't give you enough rockets at that point either. So, to be quite honest, it just stopped being fun. That is an absolutely horrible dissection robot machine. Uh got the controls this game. No, I can't open the door. It's just some um, scenery. So yeah, that was about the point where I gave up on, on Far Cry, because I was, wasn't it. I'd stopped, I'd stopped enjoying it, basically. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, and therefore which way I should go f first. Is this a dead end? Yes, okay. I haven't seen one of them for a while. At least I don't think I have. It might be just because I've not played. <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> ah, that's better. I don't really remember if Half-Life had a similar problem with bullet sponges. Well, I guess we'll find out when we see how many of those big, tough alien critters start showing up. Ha! Huh. This looks like a little sort of, um, oh, what's the word? Um, vivarium type thing for uh, a, small, a little patch of zen. The okay. <laughs> yeah, that's almost cute. Oh, I remember these things. Yes, you sort of you release them and they go skittering toward an enemy like that, and then bite the head off or something. Minor laceration. Oh, for goodness' sake! <laughs> and they're too bloody small to hit, and then they explode. Right. Okay. Let's not do that again. Let's not use them on aliens, because I suspect may maybe they'll go for um. Uh, how much blood is there on the floor there? <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, yeah, let's try and restrict those to human en enemies. I'm not sure I want to go in here. It is really, really <laughs> head crap. Let's um, give him one of these. Oh, shit. Ammunition depleted. <laughs> Apparently that was my only grenade. 
great. Is it worth going in there? I'm not sure. I feel like I should. Sort of hundred percent in kind of way. But <laughs> I think that's all of them. No, it's not. There we go. I, that was a leaf. <laughs> oh, there's some more of those. I don't even know what to call them. Deployable beetles. And some HEV suit power. Okay, that's totally worth coming in here for. I suppose in a way you can look at it as I spent a little bit of ammunition and a little bit of health to get some more skittery beetle jobbies and some armour. And that's probably worthwhile because I think health tends to be a lot easier to come by than armour does. Because the game... Prov I think I've, I've, I've talked about this before. There's the idea that if you if you give the player health, you're bringing them up to 50% of sort of protectedness. If you give them armour, if they're doing well at least, you're taking them up to 100% of protectedness. There's two ways to go here. What's the Weapons research, that sounds fun. But also, oh, I don't know which way I should go. Let's see if this comes to a dead end. I feel like I'm being charged up for something. I mean, I'm now at 100% on both health and armor. That usually means you're about to get quite seriously attacked. Are there any clues on here? No, these monitors don't really tell me anything. Okay, I'm going to go back and investigate the weapons um, lab because that looked like a side route. And I've got so much health now I feel I can probably tank whatever it's got coming for me. Okay, that was clearly the wrong answer <laughs> because it's giving me a loading screen. Alright, I'll go back and see what's in the other way. <laughs> I'm just going to spend this whole episode running up and down this uh, corridor. Sorry about that. Oh, here we go. There's a locked door that way. And presumably that's another locked door up here. Yep. Alright. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Sorry about that. Let's have a quick check. All my guns are loaded before we go any further, just because it seems like a good idea. Yep, crowbar's fully loaded. Oop. Crossbow isn't. Not so I use it very much, because it doesn't seem to be that effective. Yep, yeah, we're good. That sounds like Marines having a bad day. Could make their day a bit worse. a better weapon, that one sucks. I remember this being rather good against the Is burn still on the floor? No. <laughs> Have a few of them, see if they're any good. Oh, it's loading. I don't know what that noise means. <laughs> I mean, there's... Come up! Oh, oh. Ow, he's like a shotgun. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh. The Marines are always that little bit too tactical. <laughs> oh well, there's my rest of my armor. Power I wonder if releasing those skittery creatures. Ooh, laser. Ooh, it does something. What am I going to zap? <laughs> I 
who on earth designs a, a facility like this and thinks, yeah, let's have a thing on the ceiling. Well, let's let's pass the laser beam down the corridor, down the corridor along the ceiling. Where, yeah, okay, it's probably mostly out of reach and people won't walk into it, but it's still not very well placed. Presumably, I need to adjust something else for that to. What's that noise? Okay, I think it's just electrical noise. Okay, here's so here's a diagram. This is uh, obviously for time travel. <laughs> Security officers eat pizzas, they steal pizzas. That's good to know. Um, okay, I can't get much more from that diagram. This presumably is some sort of security thing that, if I unplug it, it will either go very well or very badly. There's some head crabs in cages. That's that's a good place for them. Let's leave them there. What if I could pick them up and throw them at soldiers? Fan still got a laser going into it, but not doing anything else. Okay. I think I have. Out, what? Oh, it's grenades, I guess. A couple of them. <laughs> Stop shooting, I wanted to return fire. Give me a sec. Do these guys ever need to reload? Bloody hell. Right. I guess with two of them you can produce reasonable a reasonably high level of covering fire. That sounds like a Barney. It's a prototype. Where are we using this thing? It's much too unpredictable. Open it overcharge. What do you mean overcharge? I was gonna say I have a bad feeling about that. <laughs> oh dear. However, that's a nice <laughs> Nice new weapon. Um, no, what I was going to say. A uh, nice way of warning me about. Is that, some, is that literally? Yes, that is literally some smoking boots. That's awesome. <laughs> um, nice. And we've got music as well. That shows how good it is. Oh, another another laser to fire down the corridor, I guess. What I was trying to say um, before the music so rudely interrupted me. Is that that's an, quite a nice way of introducing me to the to the weapon, and also sort of telling you that if you overcharge it, then it will blow up in your face and turn you into the aforementioned pair of smoking boots. So yeah, that's quite nicely done. Uh, let's go and find some soldiers to try this out on. Now I'm guessing the way this is going, I'm supposed to find several of those lasers, fire them all at that sort of fan thing in the middle. And then between them, ooh, okay, counter. Um, and then between them, they'll they'll activate some um, some pl some plot device. There doesn't seem to be anything at all in here, which is extremely boring. Let's go back out. There. So yeah, we've got this laser going down here. And is that the first? Yeah, that's the first laser I found. So we've got two going into here now and heading off down that way. The diagram I found on there's a whiteboard somewhere with a diagram on it that probably in hindsight tells me how many lasers I need to find and it's probably a map of this area that will show me what's going on. Is it here? Yes there it is. So we've got... I don't know is there a UR here? Got big long linear... Okay so that's probably this thing in here so we've got this this laser and this laser coming down here, and we then need to go and so we need to go off and find that one and that one, and then it'll fire into here and maybe I need to plug that back in. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and there's some. Okay, so yeah, we've got green lights telling us how many of these we've done, and then oh, and a big red fire button here. So. So I guess... Oh, I see. That powers 
with this shield, so the shield will come down, the laser will fire against it and nothing will happen. If I unplug that, then it won't. It'll blast a hole through the wall and that's probably where we're going to go next. Okay, let's go and find some more laser sources. It's kind of quiet around here. I hear bull squid. No, not bull squid. The um, sonic... Sonic Hound things. Is 100%. Nice. That might actually keep me alive for a minute or two. I can find those Sonic Critters and I can try out my new gun. <laughs> Run away! Not actually that great. <laughs> Far more effective. <laughs> Ow, I can't retreat fast enough. Or aim well enough. Is that the lot? I don't hear anymore. I did manage to take out a couple with that burst of... Um, is it a Tau Cannon? I, f I forget. Oh, I miss the outside world. I wonder if I'll get there at some point. I don't remember. I don't remember whether um, uh, Half-Life ever lets you get back out into the real above ground and play around a bit. I suppose there were a couple of bits when I was fighting some of those um, soldiers, wasn't there? I'm not going to step in that. That sounds like a very bad idea. Okay, that's three out of four. So the last one's in here, presumably. It's further down the corridor. A little bit of ammo, probably from some dead marines. It'd be kind of dark in here if it wasn't for this glowing spit. Right, last laser. Where's the on button? Here we go. And a can of WD-40. With a, um, <laughs> a slightly different name, shall we say. Okay. Back to the um, sort of central. Hang on. Here we go. Central point. So let's see if my theory was correct about that shield. If we push the button now, shield drops. Laser fires. Make lots of noise. More and more. And has completely vaporised those two headcrabs. Nice. And knocked a coffee cup across the floor. Danger existential threat. Nice. <laughs> Let's pull that out. And then I think we're just going to get a blow. We're going to be able to blow a hole in the wall. Who designed this to have an, a shield that goes up and down? I mean, honestly. On silly black mesa. So then again, fire again. I'm staying behind them to protect the shield for this bit. There we go. Nice hole in the wall. That looks kind of toasty. Okay. I think it's been um, been 20 minutes now. Let's call this an episode here. I feel like it's been fairly productive. I've wandered around, ranted a bit about bullet sponge enemies. I've um, set up some lasers, found, it, found it a couple of new weapons in fact, and burnt a hole in a wall. I think that's quite good for an episode. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll, um, we'll crawl through this hole, try not to burn our knees too much, and see what's on the other side. I'll see you then.